Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Super channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to merge two different schema files into a single CSV file. So this is the use case of this video today. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. One more useful information I would like to give you here before I proceed further, I have written one book on Visual Builder. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder with, with from basics to depth, so you can buy this book. If you are interested to buy this book, you can go to this site, https colon slash less packed.live slash 3mw snr7, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. So let's get started. So consider a scenario. You have a file in this particular format where we have four columns, type, date, amount, and serial. You have another source file which have a different schema altogether, like we have a different nine to 10 fields altogether. Now, what do you want? You want to merge both the files and want to produce a single CSV file, like in this structure. So final file will be something like this. So the sample one.csv data should be on the top and the sample two.csv data should be at the bottom, but in the single file. So let's see how we can merge both the files into a single CSV file. So here, what I'm going to do, I am going to uh, this is uh, this is my integration cloud screen, wherein I have already created uh, the connection, this FTP connection, which I already have, you also need to create a FTP connection before you before you uh, watch this complete video. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do, I am going to create a schedule integration, let's say merge. To Okay, and let's say create. So, so this is my integration canvas. So before I proceed, let me do one thing. Let me first of all use my FTP connection. Okay, so this is my FTP connection, which I will use to read the first file. Okay, the read file one. Next, so. This is the read operation which I am to which I want to use. So slash home slash opc slash source. So FTP location is there wherein the file has been written. The file is there, the sample file. So at this input directory, I have the sample one.csv file. Let me just give a name. The file name is sample one.csv. Yes. Okay. And then next, I will choose the schema CSV next now what i'm going to do i am going to give the structure of the sample file sample one dot csv why it is showing in this format because you see the field delimiter is comma by default so i have to select this pipe because my file is pipe separated so let's say source one source one set okay Fine, I am making all fields as an optional and one is a mandatory. And I will use first row as a column header because in this sample one.csv file, the first row contains a header. Next, and then done. Right now, so the file will be the uh, the, the, this operation will be used to read the file, the source file. Now I need to write. I need to write the data of this file to a stage location. Okay, so I will use the stage file action. And let's say write file one. Okay, next I will use write file operation wherein I will give the file name and then specify the output directory. So I will say final dot csv. Okay, this is the final name. This is the name of the file which I'm going to write on a particular directory which will be slash tmp. Okay, for the time being. Okay, the final.csv will be written at tmp. Don't use this append to existing file. Okay, next. Use the CSV format next and I will choose the same format like 
the same source one structure i will choose pipe symbol and i will choose again target one and let's say target one set okay fine the same structure next and then finish now edit this mapping it's very simple read one file response source one set source one and i am going to map all the data like source one to target one type date amount and then serial now what will happen when this mapper will execute it will write all the data from source file one to a target file okay in the particular format in the same format as i have the source file awesome now as the next step i am again going to use my ftp connection to read the second file read file 2 next and again slash home slash opc slash source source is the input directory and the name of the file is sample 2.csv okay sample underscore 2.csv so this is the name of the file and again it's a csv file and now the structure of this file will be this sample 2.csv let's say source and let's say source to set okay again it will be like pipe separated okay and i will use use first two as a column headers because okay i hope right just allow me a minute my bad let me just choose this file again now that's fine okay now it's mandate or uh, the type serial number the date so this is the structure of my second file next and then finish right now i am going to use again a stage file okay write file two and then next and here i am again use write file and here is the catch okay if you want to merge both the files what you have to do you have to give the same file name which you have given earlier while writing on the stage file final.csv okay and you have to use the same location which is slash tmp okay so make sure you will give the same file name and the same directory and here you have to use append to existing file what it will do so final.csv is already there okay at this directory whatever data it will be there it will be there and what this append to existing file will do it will append the next set of data in the same file at this location so here i will give a different structure okay and then i will use pipe symbol and here i'll say target to and here i can say target to set next and then finish okay cool and here i have to map the data from my tar source to response which is this read file to response okay source to set source to i will map all data here source to to target to and map everything okay cool let's say date number user user id b u o r g and then here fine validate this mapper and then close it now that's done now what i need to do i will transfer this final file on my ftp location so i will use the same connection ftp connection and i'll say write final file final file and let's say next and write file as key and here i'll say slash home slash opc slash source i will use the same folder and file name i will say final.csv next i will give no here next done now here this write file 2 will give me the file reference 
write file two. Okay, it will give me the response, the file reference, and I need to map this file reference here, validate, and then close. So the integration is completed. Let me just enable the tracking here and then save it. So now let me just recap what I have done. I have created one schedule integration. Here at this step, what I'm doing, I am reading the source file one, okay, which have four columns and then writing the complete file at the stage file, okay, with the same schema, okay. So whatever four, uh, four columns uh, file is there, it will be written at my location where at the TAM file one.csv file will be created. Now, here I am reading my second structure, second file, which will have the nine columns. And then here, what I am doing, I am using the same file, which I have written here, the same location, and then appending the data in the same final file. And then at the last, I am just taking the file reference, the response file reference and mapping to my this FTP. Let's try to run this. Okay. Okay. Let's activate this integration, include payload, and then activate. Let's see what will happen now. Let me refresh this integration and let's submit now. Submit now. Okay. This is the ID which has been generated. Let's see. Cute. It has been cute. Let's try to refresh it and we'll see what will happen. Again, it's, it's in queue. Okay, it's in progress. Let this integration to be in success mode. And then we'll show you my FTP location where the final .csv file should be written. Okay, let this integration to be completed. First of all, you see processing completed successfully. I hope integration is completed successfully. The status is succeeded. Now, let me just go here. Okay, and let me show you my FTP to you. Okay. Hmm. Where is that? Here is the FTP. Okay, so here's my FTP. You see sample one dot CSV, sample two dot CSV. Let me just refresh it. You see final dot CSV. Let me just open this file. Okay. And we'll show you. So here, if you see this final.csv file, you will see the data of the first file and the data of the second file. So this is how you can merge two different schema CSV files into a single file in Oracle integration. So guys, that's all about this video. I hope you like this video. If you like, please like, comment and share, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can find me on linkedin twitter facebook you can always see my blog https colon slash slash thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye